What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another episode of Double Dribble. And today's episode I want to be talking about Cade Cunningham and uh, I want to give some of my reasons why I think he is uh, a lock for this year's number one pick. Uh, before we get into the video I just want to quickly say though, if you're a fan of basketball whether it be high school, college, or the NBA, uh, make sure to hit the subscribe button, join the conversation. We love interacting with you guys in the comments uh, down below. Uh, hit the like button on this video and make sure you uh, share it with a friend. So let's get right into the video. So today I want to take a look at Cade Cunningham and uh, why I think he's a lock for the number one pick in this year's uh, upcoming NBA draft. Uh, the Detroit Pistons have the number one pick and I think that's what he's uh, going to become. Uh, one thing I want to touch on is how I've seen reports that Cade Cunningham plans to only work out for one team. Um, that is the Detroit Pistons. Uh, so he already is pretty sure he's, he knows he's going to be the number one pick. Um, he knows that you know he, the Pistons are going to be the team he goes to, so uh, he just is going to decide to only work out for them. Uh, doesn't want to worry about working out for any other teams because he just got that mindset that he knows he's a lock for the number one pick, and I think that's that's good. I think that's a you know a great thing. Um, he's confident that he's going to be the number one pick. And, you know why go do all these other workouts for other teams um, where if he doesn't perform well or something. Um, news gets out or you know people from those workouts start releasing stuff that he's you know not as good as he seems and different stuff like that um i think there's just some more risk involved with that where if you know you're going to be the number one pick uh just go work out for that team uh, if they know that you're uh you're their player that they want you know go work out for them uh talk to them meet with them do all that stuff and don't worry about any other team so i think that's uh that's a good thing right there um, now getting to him and why I think he's you know a number one pick in this year's draft. Um, one of the main reason, one of the main reasons is, I guess just the fact that you know he's a six eight point guard. You know he's six eight, two hundred twenty pounds, um, point guard. You know I think having that you know that size, that length, um, athleticism that he has at the point guard position, he's just something that you know a lot of you know teams are looking for, and that's kind of today's basketball nowadays. Um, I mean, if you're a point guard, pretty much if you're a guard position, I mean, if you're under 6'3", six, 6'4", six, I mean, you're just a little guy out there. I mean, trying to have a 6'2 point guard, 6'1 point guard, trying to guard, you know, a 6'8 guy like Cade Cunningham, I think um, it's just as a team, like the Pistons have a player like that, um, you know, that's, that's huge for them. It can create a lot of mismatches, you know gives them a lot of opportunities I mean he can post up smaller guys if they put bigger guys on them then there's obviously gonna be mismatches somewhere else because uh, the other team is gonna have to put you know s you know a taller guy on Cade and then a little guy is gonna be on you know another big guy somewhere else so I think just having that size at that position is you know a huge you know advantage for him and advantage for the Pistons and um, I think it's just whatever team like I said I mean sure it's gonna be the Pistons whatever team you were to go for uh, that's just a huge advantage for them along with that having that size um, At that position. I mean obviously He put up the numbers to show that he should be the number one pick as well I mean if you look at his college career, he averaged 20 points per game 6.2 rebounds 3.5 assists I mean he shot 43% from the field and 40% from three 85% um, from the free throw line um, I mean, really, he kind of he kind of did it all. The only thing that is a little, you know, a little concerning, but obviously, um, it's not the biggest deal in the world. Is he did average four turnovers a game to three and a half assists per game. Um, so that's that's not the best thing. But obviously, passing the ball, you know, Kay can do that uh, at the point guard position, especially. You know, he can do that, but that's not his strong suit. I mean, really, you know, scoring the ball, getting rebounds. Um, that's that's one of the, that's those are the two things that he likes to do best. I mean, he can pass the ball, uh, but obviously with those turnovers too, he had the ball in his hands literally the whole game at Oklahoma State. I mean, he, he was the primary ball handler. He ran their offense, scored for them. He did everything for them. So uh, the assist thing, or I mean the turnovers, uh, more turnovers than assist thing, uh, I don't think that's the biggest biggest issue. Obviously, you don't love to see that, but um, I don't think it'll be an issue for him you know, in the NBA. 
So if you look at it, I mean, 6'8", 220-pound point guard that averaged 20 points in college, 6 rebounds, shot 40% from 3 to go along with it. Um, I just really don't see how he wouldn't be the number one pick or how he shouldn't be the number one pick. Uh, I mean, if you look at who he's really competing with, I mean, Evan Mobley, uh, I think he has a, a lot of potential, but I don't think he's the number one pick in this draft. Uh, Jalen Green, um, I also think he has a lot of potential. He's, you know, he's a pretty good player. He played in the G League, so he should be used to the NBA game. Uh, shouldn't take him long to adjust to that. Uh, but I just don't think that he beats out Cade Cunningham or, you know, has quite of a immediate impact on an NBA team like Cade Cunningham will. Uh, I mean, Jalen Green's going to come and try to score the ball for you. Um, and I think that's that's really about it is what he's going to do right away. Just come in and try to score the ball. Whereas Cade Cunningham can come in, you know, he can score the ball. Uh, he can rebound for the team, run their offense, you know, be that point guard kind of like Luka. I mean, that bigger point guard, not overly quick, not overly athletic, but, you know, somehow just finds a way to score the ball, uh, it's, finds a way to rebound the ball, you know, finds a way to get his teammates involved. And, you know, just does everything for that team's offense. And I think that's the type of player that Cade Cunningham can be. Um, not Maybe not immediately, immediately, but, you know, give him, a, give him a couple games, a couple, you know, maybe a month to adjust to the NBA games, the NBA schedule, all that stuff. And I think I think Cade will be all right. I mean, besides really Evan Mobley and Jalen Green, I don't think anyone else is really even in that conversation to be, you know, picked over him for the number one spot. Even those two, I don't think anyone really um, is looking to pick those two over to over top of Cade Cunningham for the number one spot. I think I think at this point in the NBA world and basketball world, it's kind of you know the thing. It's kind of a thing that Cade Cunningham is a lock for the number one pick, and everyone kind of knows that. Uh, people might try to argue it just for the fact of having you know kind of a little bit of an arguing uh, argument or debate. But I think Cade Cunningham, you know, is a lock for the number one pick, and pretty much everyone knows that. So. Uh, leave your comments in the uh, comment section down below if you have any you know, other thoughts on this topic. Uh, what do you see from Cade Cunningham? What, do you, what type of player do you see him being in the NBA? Um, just let, let us know in the comment section down below and we'll be sure to interact with you guys. Uh, make sure to hit the like button on this video. Uh, hit the subscribe button and we'll see you in the next one. Peace.